Good afternoon. Yep, good afternoon. How y'all doing? How you doing? It is, this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Um, just want to talk to you a few minutes. You see the title is The Dash. The Dash. And I talk about this all the time, but I'm going to give you another twist on it that I heard today. Whew. God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. I'm so glad that God picked me, picked me for this assignment to motivate you, encourage you, empower you, and inspire you. I'm going to empower you to live. I'm going to empower you to live. And you don't have to tell nobody back about your accolades. They're going to see how you live. And that's what the dash is about. That's what we're talking about, the dash. There is a year that you're born for me. That's October 19, 1967. And that's the year God going to call me home. Don't know what that is. I'm just going to focus on the dash in the middle. What in life am I doing? Um, to leave a legacy. What What is it that I'm doing? First and foremost, we all have to show love. We all have to show love because that's God loves us first. So we have to love everybody. We have to love everybody. And for me, I can only talk about my dash. I love God. I love worshiping. I love praising. I love telling people about the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me. Uh, not to brag or boast, but if I tell you what he's done for me, you'll, you'll begin to think, if he did that for Gigi, he'll do this for me. So your dash. As I said, the dash in the middle of your, uh, of your alpha it's your alpha, your dash, and your maker. The beginning and the end. The beginning of life for me, October 19, 1967. End of life, I don't know it. But that dash in the middle, I'm, gonna tr I'm trying my level best to live the best life I can with the help of God, of course. I try to treat folk right. I try to treat people right. I try to do right. Because my grandmother always told us, if you do right, right will follow you. But there is a flip side to that coin. If you do wrong, guess what? It's going to follow you too. So the dash, what is it that you, what, what does your dash represent? See, because, and I say I heard it as a service. Where I heard it was a homegoing service for, uh, Laura May Lacey, which is my son-in-law's grandmother slash mother slash mama. It was at her service and the um, the preacher, the pastor uh, that did the eulogy, that was his topic, the dash. And he made this statement. He said, if I had enough, enough power, I might be saying that wrong, a little wrong. I could, if I could do this eulogy, but the eulogy has already been done. We have to learn to live our dash, live out our eulogy. So when people get up, give you accolades, everybody in there, they can testify to, you know, that's right. She was that. She was that. See, I can go on and say um, who I am. I, I'm I'm the youngest of four. I'm the mother of one. Um, I'm, an, I'm an evangelist. I'm a life coach. I'm a motivational speaker. I'm a published author. I can say all that. But do you know that I'm a child of the king, that I, I have the glory of God? That reigns around me. Do you know that I love God? Do you know that I love what God is doing for me? Do you, do you know that? I walk that every day. I walk the assignment. That's, that's my, my ultimate assignment is live right so I can go to heaven. Live right so I can go to heaven. 
So that dash in the middle, and, and believe it or not, if you ever go to a, to a service and you see they have the born date, which is the beginning, and the death date, and that's the end. That dash is the smallest thing on there, but it's so powerful. The dash is powerful. How you living? How you living that you can, that people can see and you don't have to tell? You don't have to tell it. You don't have to tell it. What is it that they see from your life? What is it that people are seeing from your life? The dash. Very important. Live your life so people can see who you are by the way you live and not what you say. Live your life so people can see who you are and not what you say. I want somebody to know I'm a child of the king by the way I talk, way I walk, how how I how I carry myself. I want you to see that that the that the God in me is reigning in my life. I have peace cuz he gave me peace beyond all understanding. God is good, y'all. Start living your dash out. Living that little small dash. Live it out. There's still work for you to do. There's still lives for you to change. There's still glory you can give to God. Because that's the kind of God we serve. Live your dash out. Because believe it or not, those children, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, they're coming behind you. And the legacy that you leave behind, they're going to take that baton and run with it. Y'all be blessed. See y'all later. The Dash. Just think about it.